Hey guys, Jake here. What we're gonna do today is we're gonna fix a cabinet door. This is a kitchen cabinet door. You're gonna see that it's not on right. It's actually very loose and shaky. What we're gonna do is we're gonna show you how to fix it. It's a very simple thing to do. And uh, by the way, guys, if you've not subscribed, please subscribe. We have a lot of great videos coming up ahead. All right, let's get started. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna open the door and you're gonna see that the hinge is practically disconnected. So let's go ahead and do that and let's get a little closer. And here we go. And when I shake this around, you're gonna see exactly what's going on. Now the first thing you're thinking is, well, all I gotta do is tighten that screw. You're right. You gotta tighten that screw and it's gonna hold the door back in place. But there's a little bit more to it than that because once you tighten that screw, you're gonna notice you also have to adjust the uh, the, the the height and the level of the door itself. Otherwise, it's still not going to look right. So let's go ahead and tighten the screw. One of the things you can do when you tighten it, you can look for a little groove where it was tightened and put in position before when the cabinets were initially put together. That'll give you an idea where you should be approximately. Okay. So go ahead and tighten that. Make it nice and snug. Pick a spot, and then we're going to close the door. And now the door's not shaking anymore. But as you can see it's also not level. So the, the line is eh, it's pretty close from top to bottom, but what you're gonna see is that it, it kind of sticks out in different places, so it's not, it's not even. So there's a little adjustment screw in the front. Now that little adjustment screw in the front, depending on, there it is, depending on which way you turn it, clockwise or counterclockwise, you'll notice that it will level the door. It will move the door in different, different directions, up or down, and uh, in and out. So you'll have to kind of mess with that a little bit. Um, it might take you two or three or four times to, to adjust it and make it right. Sometimes you have to go to the top hinge as well. No big deal. Um, and you probably will have to do that because if you're gonna mess with the bottom one, you should also adjust the top one as well. It's still, it's not exactly perfect. So we're gonna go back in there. We're gonna turn a little bit more and look at that. We're almost exactly where we wanna be. A little more of a turn and bingo. That's right on the money right there. And uh, that's about as professional as you're gonna get. Now, if you hired a cabinet guy to come in and try to fix that for you, they're not gonna come to your house for less than $125, $175 to, to, to fix that. No one wants to do that, but all you really need is a screwdriver and uh, you're in business. So anyway, as you know from my videos, we do a lot of, of at-home stuff, very, you know, things that you can do at home. If you like the video, Please subscribe, please comment, please share. We appreciate you watching. Thanks a lot and have a great day. Bye.